Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Muhammad Dwayne and this is Motionology. Just a couple of hours ago, I've seen this really cool design on Adobe's Instagram account and I thought it's a very good idea to do the exact same thing or somehow similar to that design using Photoshop and uh, I'm going to use this really nice photo and uh, you're going to find a link in the description to that photo because it's free and you can use it too. But we're gonna do this really cool and amazing effect to this image. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and have fun and do it. So the first thing that we're gonna do to achieve this kind of effect is to divide this picture into maybe 10 or maybe more or less equal parts. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to go to the view menu and set a new guide layout so we don't need columns so we're gonna uncheck that we only gonna need rows and we're gonna need uh, i'm gonna divide this picture into 10 equal parts so i'm gonna need uh, you know 10 rows uh, we don't need getters so we're gonna get rid of that and uh that's it we divided this picture into 10 equal parts next step that we're going to do is to uh, make everything or every part of this picture separated so we're going to do that using this really cool um, marquee selection and we're going to select this part and hit ctrl j to make a copy of this part and we're going to repeat the same thing to the second part control j again and that's it now we do have two parts and uh we're gonna repeat the same process for all of these parts just really quickly we are done with that and the second thing that we're gonna do is to get rid of these guides so let's just go back to the view menu and just clear guides we don't need them and then let's just uh, hit C on our keyboard to get to this crop tool and then just uh, just you know expand our canvas from every side and then what we have to do is just get this last piece and maybe notch it a little bit down and then the upper part do the same thing and then let's just select all of these layers by hitting Control alt a and then let's just distribute vertical centers so we do have the same space between every part of this image and now the second thing that we need to do once we select all of these layers is to change the uh, blending mode from normal to overlay now let me just transform these pictures a little bit so we're gonna hit control T and transform this image maybe it's like that a little bit to the left do the same thing with the other parts All right, now we did that to every part of this image. We do have this really nice effect. The last thing that we will do is to add some kind of background. So let's just add a new layer and just put it below every part of this image and just uh, get some, you know, gradient of some kind. Let's just add some of these colors in the image and just make them a little bit darker and then let me just go ahead and take this really bright color and that's it and let's just hit this radial kind of gradient and uh, this is it about this really nice effect that we did to this image the last thing that we're going to do is to add some text to decorate this design so let's just go ahead and do that.
all right this is it thank you so much for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one